Hey, how's it going, everybody? Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you guys are from. Anmol here uh, with another edition of Trade Recap. Man, what an amazing trading day today! I took three trades today, and guess what? Three of them winners. I made two to one on each of those trades for a total of six to one today. And this month of August has been off to a fantastic start. You know, I made almost six hours today. Um, yesterday I made three hours. The day before I made two hour. So overall, this is so far a nine month, uh, nine hour a month, and off to a fantastic start. So I mean, we love it. Great trading environment in the middle of earnings, and uh, great to have a lot of new members in the trading room. Hope you guys are liking it, and hope you guys are enjoying these trades and the learning that we do every day in the trading room. You know, it's not just a trading room. We just don't call trade. Right? We call trade, we explain them, why we traded them, you know, what the reason behind is, and we do teaching in the room as well. You know, a lot of other places will say, oh, take our course, take our course, that's how we teach you. Well, we just teach it in the room, because why not? We're already trading. So, uh, three trades today, let's review them. All right, I don't have much time, so I'm gonna go over them a little bit quickly. All right, I am uh, just got a lot of stuff to do today, I've been backlogged. But, <clears throat> taking a look at Seji, that was the first trade of the day. You see here, the stock had a you know nice little update a couple days ago, and then today it actually opened lower. It gapped down below both the 21 EMA and the 50 EMA, and it also broke the support area. So when it breaks the support area and gaps under it, I ask myself the question: Hey, where can the stock go to? Well, it can go to the 200 period moving average, right? Which also happens to be support. So it has that much room to drop. So in the morning, I saw this. This is known as a one-minute flash pattern. Right, one minute flash pattern has taught in our courses. So had this one minute flash pattern, so I shorted it under here, placed my stop loss above here as you guys can see, and then boom, 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 right on this move, I already hit my target and I was out. So fantastic trade there to start the day with said G. Another trade I took today this morning was a TSRO. So TSRO, as you guys can see here, gap down under the green bar and this stock's already been down trending quite a bit but today it ended up breaking and gapping below this little support area right again really nice stock with room to drop so this one i saw in the morning gap down tried to go up and failed it tried to go up but left a topping tail so it failed and it came back down and what made one last attempt with this green bar to go back up higher but it couldn't so I shorted it right under the low of the day, put my stop loss right above there. So a $1 stop loss, so I needed $2 for target, and it dropped, went up higher a little bit, and I told the chat room, hey, this actually looks like it's gonna drop further. If you want, you can add more shares short under here. And I finally dropped like this, and boom, right at $29 is where we hit our target, and we got out. So fantastic trade on TSRO. Um, another trade I did today later in the day, this was actually late trade, was CATM, CATM. Catam, boy oh boy, almost gave me a heart attack at one point, but it ended up doing all right for us. So here's Catam. I call this trade long right over here on a setup known as a buy setup. Right here I called it long. I placed my stop loss under the lows of the day. It popped, my target at that time was 29.94 for two to one. It went to 29.65, but couldn't go higher. So it missed my target by like 30 cents. Came all the way back down almost stopped me out at one point went to 28 went to 27.75 my stop was 27.72 so it held my stop by three cents right but then eventually ended up going higher and i was out at 29.94 just above below that 30 dollar area so ended up being a fantastic day ended up being a really nice day on Catam. played this buy setup long stayed in it and boom right on this pop we were out and then the SEDG was a nice short trade. The TSRO was a nice short trade. Um, yesterday I traded FireEye, so I might as well uh, review that for you while I have you on here on the mic. Well, that's me, but you know, let's review this, this um, FireEye trade, okay? All right, let's see. FireEye, FireEye, FireEye. All right, here's the FireEye. So this is a trade I actually took yesterday. So this is not today's trade. This is actually a trade I took yesterday. Um, and I posted the slide on Facebook again guys, you know, sometimes I only take one trade a day like yesterday Yesterday I only took one trade a day, right? And there are some days I only take one trade all day long So, you know, I don't make a video for one or two trades because you know, there's not much to talk about Right if I have two three trades to review then I'll make a video But like yesterday I only took one trade so I didn't make a video for that But what I do do on those days if you're following me on stock twits or Twitter 
and my handle on both stock tweets and twitter is delta 90 all spelled out d-e-l-t-a-n-i-n-e-t-y delta 90 so you know there i post slides of my trades all right here's how i traded it so when i can make a video i post an image with a slide you can definitely check those out and uh, you can also uh, check out our facebook page if you're not on there um we also post slides on facebook on days like yesterday where i only took one trade so instead of making a video on it i'll post a slide so yesterday feye fire eye gapped down and look what happened gapped down and went under support so this is where i shorted this pattern is known as the orb opening range breakout so we shorted fire eye right over here put our stop loss right over there and look at that boom 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 massive drop and we took our target right there so fantastic trade yesterday on fire eye so again you guys can see the theme on the short side right the stock has support gap under support look too short that's fire eye that's exactly what we did on SG. that's exactly what we did on tsro right so you gotta understand these themes okay so definitely do that um and if you're not in the chat room email info at livetrades.com join it on month one month on me join the chat room okay and then see what it's all about and i'll send you a lesson on how i use the view app in my trading for free when you join the trading room okay um so that's that let me see if there's anything else i want to review for you uh yeah let's review swing trade so you know i don't just day trade i also do swing trading and long-term trading okay for those of you who don't know so i do not just day trading also swing and long-term trading so swing trading is when we hold the stock for a few weeks a few days sometimes sometimes even a month right so one of the swing trades we took was pm philip morris we bought it long at 83 bucks and pretty so far so good it's, it went to 87 today and i'm looking for you know somewhere in the 90s is my target so that's going to be another nice trade for us on philip morris okay um so that's that hope you guys enjoying the trade reviews um and i got a lot more trade reviews planned you know i got a new nice little setup here with my microphone and i'm gonna get a few more cameras the other day so then i can have one camera looking at my monitor while I'm trading and the other record me while I'm trading. So I'm trying to do some good stuff here. It's going to be a little while, you know, and I'm, I'm learning how to do videos. You know, I've always just traded and Jared's like, hey, you need to make videos, you know, you need to make videos. So, um, you know, I personally don't know how to make videos like this one. Um, so, but now I'm figuring it out slowly and slowly. So I'm going to get a few more cameras so they can, one can look at my monitor and one can look at me and you know that way i can start doing um some nicer reviews for you so hope you enjoy that take care everybody see you in the trading room